take those off. So they're not making too much noise. All right. What is going on, Canyon Freaks? Welcome back to our office here. Welcome back to another video. I'm doing something a little different that I don't generally do very often. That's a product review. I just haven't getting or getting, haven't gotten around to doing much of these. Um, I'd like to do more of them. So if this is something you're really interested in seeing more of, let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me what kind of things you're interested in doing. I've got a few comments in the past about some interest in a few repel devices and I've done some of those. So let me know. Um, I will throw something out uh, as I get time. What I wanted to review today is a seat protector. And the reason that I chose to do a review on this seat protector, this is the Gear, Gear Perspective Skyguard. Um, the reason I'm doing this review is because I don't get to use a lot of seat protectors. Um, my harness setup is generally an Alpine BOD or I just switched over to the BOD harness, both by Black Diamond. And you can't put a standard seat protector on these harnesses because you have to unbuckle the leg straps and all that stuff to get into the, like the inlay um, seat protectors and stuff. So I've never really used one um, up until Gear Perspective came out with a couple of models and they have Velcro on the legs so that you can actually open them up and put them onto your leg loops on these particular types of harnesses. So I was really excited when they came out and uh, full disclosure, Gear Perspective did send me this one last year. Actually, they sent me another version before this one and that one got trashed within a week. Um, but they did some modifications, sent me out a beefier one last year. And I've been using this one now for a year. Well, just a little over a year, um, like 13 months or so. And this is what it's ended up looking like now. Um, the Velcro is holding up pretty good, attached around those leg straps. And it's not coming undone. Um, it's been really beefy, really bomber. You can see now after a year, obviously it is coming apart, which you can expect with how much canyoning we do. Eventually these are gonna wear out. So <clears throat> it's been really, really great. Um, I've really enjoyed having it on my seat and protecting a little bit more of my clothing and my pants that way. And the fact that it has that Velcro on there, um, it even, the Velcro is even around the, the waist so you don't have to feed that through. And the Velcro has been really sticky, really strong. I haven't had any problems with that Velcro coming undone. You can see it's still on there really well. I've actually moved this seat protector around to two different harnesses this Alpine Bod and then another Black Diamond uh, climbing harness that I'll use when I'm gonna be a little less scrapey in canyons. Um, but uh, yeah, it's come off, the Velcro's held really well. So I'm sending this back to them, let them look at the damage on it, see if they wanna do any modifications, any changes with it. But before I did that, I decided it was time to change harnesses and, and get a newer harness for this season. So I went and ordered another one from them um, because I've really enjoyed that one this past year. So the Skyguard by Gear Perspective. This is off of two trips so far this year on this harness and this seat protector. Um, so it's feeling pretty beefy, really reinforced in there. My big concern is always the Velcro and the stitching coming undone. Um, that was the big problem with that first version they sent me that lasted a week was that stitching came right out when it got scraped up. But they've changed up the design on this a little bit um, after that first model and 
uh, added a lot more beefier stitching, a lot more hidden stitching on that. So just a couple of specs off of the website. Durable 1680 ballistic cloth, two by two basket weave. Uh, the UHM WPE binding for edge protection. What the heck is that? Well, thank you, Google. UHM WPE ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. It's the highest quality polyethylene available and engineered for tough jobs, which we all know canyoneering can be. Um, nothing lasts very long in canyoneering. Abrasion resistance, low water absorption, all that stuff that we've uh, expect um, heat assisted welds on the vel on the leg velcro to prevent wear so i talked about that extra leg protection there so um, one thing with this is it's a little pricey okay um, the seat protector itself runs about 40 bucks base model but you can get added on add-on designs for them to beef up a little bit more of the stitching and they reinforce leggings. So all in all, this new model I did pay for, I did purchase, I actually bought two of them. So I'm gonna, instead of switching that around to different harnesses, I got two that I'm gonna put on a, uh, another harness as well. Um, but that's my main canyon harness for this year. That seat protector is gonna stay with me. I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. I've always promoted Inlay Canyon gear and their seat protectors and all their equipment for everybody, but I've never been able to use a seat protector with the harnesses I use. So I've never been able to have that. So I'm really excited to have these this year and last year <laughs> and going forward. So I look forward to seeing any improvements that's, that uh, Gear Perspective may make based off of <clears throat> me returning that and letting them see the damage and what happened to it in a year's worth of time. Um, but we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. You guys know the drill. Come join us on our adventures. Hit me up with questions, comments, concerns. We've got our fall canyoning courses coming up. They're scheduled and starting to fill up. So if you're interested in those, jump on the website, register northwashoutfitters.com. Come join us in some canyons. Catch you later.